How do we solve an equation like this? 1 half plus 1 over square root of x is equal to 1 over 3. Well, one way to do this is to multiply everybody by its lowest common denominator. 2 times 3 is 6, and then times that, which is 6 square root of x. And then we take this times that, 2 and 3 reduces to get 3, and then square root of x times 1 doesn't matter. And then next, we have this and that cancel. We just have 6 times 1, which is 6, and that's equal to this and that cancel. We have 2, and then square root of x times that is just this. And now just minus 2 square root of x on both sides like this. And then you will see that this and that will cancel, and that's minus 6 on both sides, and this and that will cancel. And on the left hand side, we just have square root of x then that's equal to negative 6. And if you think that we can just square both sides right here, and then I could cancel this and that, and you say x is equal to negative 6 squared, which is 36. In fact, this is incorrect, because when we have a square root of x equal to negative 6 right here, the output of square root of x cannot be equal to negative number right here. You can just say no solution, not even in the complex world. So why 6? Why 36 is not the answer? Because if you plug in right here and check, square root of 36, this right here is equal to just a 6, not equal to negative 6, right? So just a positive 6. If you want to see more details on this, check out the other video in the description. That's it.